Theater on Friday night. And um, really looking forward to this event. It's going to be a great card from top to bottom. Um, tickets are priced at $100, and $40 in VIP. One size, the first couple of those. There are plenty of $40 tickets available uh, to the public. And you can get them by calling the MGM Grand Box Office at Boxwoods or by walking up the night of the fight. I want to thank. Um, my staff for everything that's done at this event, and I'd like to thank Vicky and Monique, who uh, work with 50 at SMS Promotions. They're uh, terrific people to work with. And this has been a pleasure. Um, I'm excited about Friday night, and it's been a, a pleasure actually working on this event. You know, we're not doing this to make a, a lot of money. We're, not, we're doing this to give the public an opportunity. We're doing this to give the public an opportunity to see great boxing and affordable price, and to get Billy Dibb exposure he deserves as a champion and um, the fight will be televised live by ESPN it will also be televised live in Australia by ESPN and uh, that's exposure that will be good for him on, uh, in Oz as well as in the US um, SMS Audio as I, I noted is our, our main sponsor for this event and um, 50 gave me a pair of uh, their sync headphones which are like have no wires and like I'm an idiot I don't even know how to use my iPod but uh, I have these headphones on all the time and they're amazing it's a great great quality product and I really want to thank SMS Audio for, for sponsoring this event um, we have a great undercard I just want to mention that a little bit I put my glasses on because I forget that I can't see it Um, two of 50's uh, young fighters are fighting on the card. A young man named Dante Strayhorn from Cincinnati, Ohio. Dante, you here? Dante's making his pro debut uh, against Joe Pingator, who's making his pro debut. Um, and also uh, another young man making his pro debut, uh, Louis Oliveras. Louis? There are a number of uh, fighters who are world ranked that uh, are fighting on this card also. Um, I'd like to introduce a, a young man who's very highly ranked in the 147 pound division. Um, his, re his real name was Charles Bellamy, originally from Harlem, New York, but been adopted by Japan and is known more commonly as Charlie Ota. And um, Charlie, want to say hi? And um, hopefully Charlie's going to get a shot at a, at a world title later this year. Um, also, two young men from undefeated young fighters from New England, who will be bringing in a lot of people, are going to be on this card. I promote both of them. Um, a featherweight undefeated 12-0, Luis Rosa, and junior lightweight Ryan Kolcheski, the Polish prince, at 15-0. They're both also fighting on this card. So it's a terrific undercard. And there's a terrific co-feature that normally would be a main event. In fact, it was going to be the main event on ESPN until ESPN stood up and Doug Lockery stood up and gave Billy Dibb and 50 the opportunity to showcase this world title fight. You know, it's not an easy thing when you start out in a new business. There are a lot of haters. A lot of haters anyway in this world, but there are an awful lot of haters when you start out in a new business. And, and, um, and it hasn't been, no one's laid out a red carpet for Curtis 50 Cent Jackson in boxing. And, you know, what we're doing here is product of hard work and and his hard work and him learning this business. And I'm like, you know, I'm totally impressed really by working with you and, and seeing, you know, your intellect, your marketing ability, and what you bring to this game. And I think it's only good things you're gonna bring to this game going forward. And I'm a pleasure to be working with you. The 10 round co-feature that was going to be the main event um, features two very high quality fighters. Willie Nelson from Cleveland, Ohio, was 19 one and one with 11 KOs, uh, fighting Michael Medina from LA, 26 three and two with 19 KOs. And that fight has the makings of a war because both these guys can punch, both these guys come forward. They both make good fights and it's gonna be a great appetizer for the main course. Main course is, is of course Billy Dibb against Mr. Gradovich to my left, uh, who's a tough customer. Uh, I've seen a number of your fights and uh, I know this is gonna be a fun fight to watch. And fifth, do you want to talk a little bit about the main event? 
of Curtis 50 Cent Jackson. This event, March 1st, is going to be really exciting. You know, I've, I've had an opportunity to see the discipline within uh, Billy Dibbs' camp. And to see the, the professional discipline, the, the professional, uh, what am I trying to say to you? Why they conduct themselves? Dedication. Yeah, the dedication that's involved in, and not just in Billy's camp, but I've seen it in the best camps in boxing. I've seen it in Floyd Mayweather's camp. I've seen it in uh, Gamboa's training camps prior to this. But to see it actually reflect a similar type of uh, commitment is interesting. So I, they're so different. The fighters are so different from each other. And to see them have that in common, that ground. And, and I understand why they, they're passionate about music because it takes their mind off uh, how long and how much they have to put into doing what they do. And now to have an opportunity to offer a younger demographic, the audience that's consistently involved in pop and hip hop culture, to bring that, that energy back to the actual sport of boxing is exciting for me to be a part of it and to support having them continue to have a, a an actual sport and art form that I've enjoyed as a kid, continue to, to keep being a thriving sport that everyone actually enjoys in all age demos. When you when I get a chance to see new sports come in, like the UFC, and 56% of their demographic is 16 to 34 years old, when I check the stats and it tells me that 30, the boxing is 30 and up, that only the a more mature audience is interested in it. I say that there's new things that we can inject into it to make it interesting, and I look forward to being a part of that. And this is also exciting to have a, a, another collaboration. I've had a great partnership with Lou DiBella on this actual event. His actual staff has done everything that I can imagine outside of uh, the support that I have from Monique and Nikki on this actual project. And it's, it's just been an amazing process for me. This is the first event that I've been involved in the entire process. In the past, I've uh, done a co-promotion with Top Rank for uh, the Manny Marquez fight, uh, you know, Gamboa and Marina is for on the undercard for that actual show, and that was exciting. And again, I've been able to collaborate with Top Rank today. With, You've been driving it. I've been destroying this man's name for the last three weeks. You just gotta write them. <laughs> you know, I'm usually not nervous talking in front of people. I just didn't want to say that part wrong. <laughs> you know, this is gonna be really exciting, and, and to have uh, the level of actual talent involved in the first promotions, it makes me feel good and, and excited to continue to be a part of the promotional portion of boxing. Um, I, I do want to mention SMS Audio again, the global head fan and accessories brand that brings you studio master and sound, improving the way you experience music. And believe me, I have experienced it myself. And it's SMS Audio by 50 Cent. It really is a great product. You just told me today they're coming out with a Bluetooth version of the product, and I'm waiting to get mine. And uh, it's a great, great product. Before I pass the mic along, I want to acknowledge I see a couple of world contenders in the room that I feel uh, need to be acknowledged. In the back of the room is a young man rated at the top of the light, a heavyweight division in almost every ranking organization. Uh, Isaac Chalumba. <laughs> and another young man that showed uh, the heart of a lion in a, in a loss to a, a very tough uh, Lucas Matisse. Um, but this is a man that has world championship ability and can stand in the ring with anyone in the world, a Josie Elisa. And I'm going to hand the mic over now. I, I, I was like thinking he needed a translator until he started talking to me in better English than I speak. Um, Mr. Gradovich. Hello, everybody. Say, say thank you. 
for this opportunity, really team, team, team Curtis Jackson, he sent my promoter top rank, my manager Agis Klimas, my team. I'm very excited this fight. I hope it's gonna be a good fight. Thank you, Lou. Hello. Lou. Yes. We train hard for this fight, and I'm gonna. I think it's gonna be a good fight for audience, for everybody who's gonna watch this. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Um, for people who are writing articles, I appreciate this number to appear in them. It's number four in the box office. It's 1 800 200 2882. 800 200 2882. First fight's at 7 p.m. ESPN goes on the air at 9 p.m., but there are some great, great fights featuring great talent before ESPN goes on the air. And the only way to see that is to be at the MGM Grand Theater at Foxwoods yourself. Again, ticket price is 200 for VIP ringside, going down to $40. And that's at the available at the MGM Grand box office at Foxwoods or by calling 1 800 200 2882. And I'm going to hand the mic over to 50 to introduce his champion and his trainer. Now I'm going to give you an opportunity to hear Billy Dib. Yeah, Billy! First of all, I just want to thank the most gracious and most merciful God for, um, you know, for being where I am today. Um, I want to thank all my team for coming out from Australia and showing you great support. All the media, thank you very much. Linda Bella. ESPN and my main man 50 Cent. Uh, I appreciate all the support. And, um, March 1st is going to be a great event. You know, me, my team, Billy Hussain, uh, Hussain Hussain, Imad Div, Adam Huda, the whole team has worked extremely hard. And um, on March 1st, you're going to see me put on a fabulous performance. This is uh, my second coming now. And, you know, I look at it as a second opportunity to come back to America now and showcase my ability. I'm a completely different fighter. I'm a completely different animal. And uh, when the bell rings, you're going to definitely see that. So guys, tune in. Uh, all the people that are going to be watching on ESPN, make sure you tune in, because it's going to be a great fight, and I promise fireworks. Evgeny Gradovich, I know you've only had 15 professional fights, but I know that a guy that's getting an opportunity at a world title will fight like he's had 30. I know you're going to fight out of your skin, and I know you've worked extremely hard in your training camp. You've got a great camp. We've got a great camp, so it's going to make for fireworks. Thank you very much for accepting the fight. And uh, thank you, SMS Promotions, for allowing me to come out here and showcase my ability. All my sponsors, I love you all very much. Lonsdale, you guys have been amazing to me. Tang looks fantastic, and uh, I'm very appreciative. Bill Cairns, thanks for coming out. The whole team, I love you guys very, very much. Thank you. Billy H. <laughs> I just want to thank um, obviously our promoter 50 for giving Billy the opportunity to, to, like Billy said, it's a second coming to America. I really believe that we have the best featherweight in the world. Um, and Billy's going to prove it on Friday night. And Lou Bella, thank you so much. I've followed your shows from day one and you're an amazing promoter and it's great to be a part of this show. Evgeny, um, I've watched all these videos. We really respect the fighter he is. I mean, you can't take a Russian lightly. And I know from the Robert Garcia Boxing Academy that only the best come out of this. So let me tell you, we're ready, and um, Billy's going to retain the title for that night, inshallah. Uh, shout out, I see a future Hall of Famer standing in the back of the room. Johnny Lambert. Uh, one of the greatest fighters ever to come out of New York City, and one of the great trainers in boxing today, a good friend, Buddy McGurk. One last time, thank you all for being here. 50, thank you for being a great partner. Um, tickets again, 200, 175, and 40 dollars. And Jim Grant box office, 1 800 200 2882. Um, see you Friday night, I hope. And uh, you're going to see a great night of boxing, you're going to see a great event. And um, you know, also, you're going to see a performance by 50. That's like, I haven't mentioned that, and he's too awful to mention that. But anyone who watched the undercard and Brad Goodman, by the way, thanks Top Rank for for uh, providing the services your fighter and for being here. I see Brad Goodman up there. Um, but if you watch the undercard of uh, 
Marquez Pacquiao. The most exciting thing on it was this guy's performance. <laughs> it really was. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case on Saturday night because you've got great fights, but it's going to be a highlight of the night to get to see 50 perform live in a small venue like the MGM Theater at Foxwoods. I mean, generally, he's performing in stadiums or 20,000 seat arenas, not in small rooms. So that's worth the price of admission uh, on, on itself. So look forward to 50's performance on, uh, on Friday night. I'm sure Billy's going to enjoy getting walked in the ring by a legend. Thank you for all being here. God bless. Thank you. Yeah, we're going to post the fighters. Um, yeah, we're going to get a group shot of everybody on the, on the day is first, and then Billy and, and I think Fanny will, will... Okay. Let's go, Billy. So it looks perfect just there. <laughs> 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 the mids, huh? Ah, I let that one in my way. Go, Billy! Go, Billy! Go, Billy! Get it. Now get the belt too close. Who's <laughs> 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 <laughs>